Hi, I'm Chris Allen and welcome to another EHC Tech Tip. In this video we're going to look at servicing of an electric boiler. Electric boilers have no mandatory requirements for servicing, however from a manufacturer's point of view we do need some simple maintenance tasks to be carried out over the year. The boiler in question at the moment is the Fusion Comet system boiler which will have an internal filter which requires to be cleaned and also an external filter of third party nature. On top of that we will then look to check the expansion vessel pressure and top that up to one and a half bar and also check out just the electrical connections. So first of all we will look at the internal filter which is an inline YP strainer. This requires to be unscrewed by first of all removing the bottom section of the boiler which will then allow you to remove the hexagonal lid and take out the gauze and magnetic stack. This can then be cleaned separate away from the boiler. Now that we've removed the filter from the boiler, we need to strip it down and clean it under a running tap to remove all contamination and debris which has been collected. The filter can be removed by first of all taking off the gauze, then removing the magnetic stack, and then we have the lid. We want to clean all three components under the tap to remove all the debris. Once it's clean, simply reassemble in reverse, first placing the gauze in, and then dropping the magnetic stack into the center before now replacing this into the boiler and refilling the system. Now that the filter has been cleaned, we can reinstate it back into the bottom of the boiler and reassemble the bottom casing. We can now move on to the expansion vessel, which is located in the rear of this boiler, the same as a lot of the other boilers in our range. To access the Snyder valve, we can look up above the pump and in towards the rear. From here, we can then adjust the pressure of the vessel to one and a half bar. Once the vessel is also charged, the last point to check during a service would be the electrical connections, primarily the main connection at the top of the boiler, where the original installation supply cable was connected. After that, we can quickly work our way down visually through all the manufacturer's connections to ensure that they are also secure. Once these three points have covered, that is the general service of an electric boiler finished. Switch the boiler on, make sure the system is heating and have a good day.